Hi gang, welcome to another episode of Mr. Ed Makes, and you probably regret it already. Look at that. This is disgusting. And that's what we're going to make, some disgusting, scary Halloween prop wall art. So drop down to your Halloween supply store or your pound store. I go to the Dollar Tree, which anybody who follows my channel knows that's that's where half of my supplies come from for this weird art that I do. Uh, because they just have some weird stuff there for a dollar. It's just kind of odd. So for Halloween they have these things and other stuff that's really cool. I'm already designing projects for the other stuff. Hopefully I'll have more stuff like this. But you grab those plastic skulls and very carefully, the first time I did this project I cut my thumb and it's still messed up. Uh, but you cut them in such a way that the face or part of the face, the thing that identifies it as a skull, some part of that is left there and it will set flat and it looks like it's coming through the surface. So you grab a stretched canvas, also at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, <laughs> some Dollar Trees, not all. Uh, you can get a stretched canvas. Uh, just glue those down on there various ways and then uh, I got some joint compound. It's kind of like uh, gesso, kind of works the same way. It will set up really hard like plaster of Paris. I think it's got like an adhesive like glue and then uh, plaster of Paris in there, or gypsum. So uh, you spread that on there. Try not to make it look like frosting. It's going to be really hard, but you can do it. But it's not really important what the surface texture of it is because we're going to drop some sand on top of that. So I got some white sand. You can use black sand or whatever. I just happen to have white sand available, and I colored it later. And uh, white sand is a great base because you could make the the ground part or whatever they're sunk into look like flesh or look like tar or look like dirt or whatever you want. So uh, once I got that sand pushed in and it's it's adhering to it pretty well, but it's still it's not set up. It's still wet. So I, I wet it some more, get it good and kind of not running with water, but soaked pretty good so that when we put this uh, paint on there, it will <laughs> bleed into the other parts of it. I know, forgive me, I just had to go there. So you just put that paint on there around where the skulls are and don't worry about the other parts because we're gonna do that in black or you can do it in some other color. Now when I, I wanted the skulls to be kind of coated a little bit but I was having a hard time because that plastic doesn't want to take anything. So I had to work on that later but for the time being I just moved on to the next step which was the black paint making it look like the dirt or tar or maybe lava that's cooled down. I mean, you just use your imagination. The colors are really going to sell what is going on here. Right now, it looks like they've melted into the surface. And when I tilt it and spray the water a little bit, you can see that all that kind of runs together and it creates a cool effect. So you know, just go wild. Keep in mind too that when this dries, it's going to, the appearance is going to change. It's going to dull, of course, and the colors are going to continue to slowly bleed together. So it will tend to turn a little gray and be a lighter color. Uh, the red, I was afraid, would go to pink, which it did kind of. So I had to go back in with some more red later. But it gave me a chance to go over the skulls with some glue textured acrylic. And when it dried, it made this really nice skin effect on the wall art, which you'll see later. I think right here I'm going to show you some video of this one dry. See how the colors changed? It's dulled. It looks older. The the bone, the plastic looks more like bone now, which I really like. And here it is hanging with some creepy under lighting. Isn't that nice? Now I did another one before this, the one I cut my thumb on, and I put some lights in it. And this is the second one I did that you see here, but this one right here is the first one I did. And when it was still wet, it was the coolest thing. It looked like it, it was tar, like they were or the reverse tar pits instead of it being other animals, it's people in it. And then I went and put some fairy lights, the ones with just on the thin wire, it doesn't have a lot of like for the bulb, it's just really thin. I put those, cut a little hole in the canvas behind each skull, dropped some lights in there, taped the battery thing or glued the battery thing to the back of the canvas, it hangs really nice. I love the one with the, the lights, but that's what it looks like without, kind of basic. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode. If you like it, if you were grossed out by it, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't. And uh, until next time, you guys, take care.